What we have here today is the heated bed for the CR10 by Creality. This is a 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter heated bed. And what we're going to do today is we're going to insulate it. This is removed from the printer, as you can tell. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a layer of insulation. And we're, for this project, I'm using uh, SureTape's Pipe Wrap IT100 insulation tape. This is what I used on my ANET uh, 3D board. So this is what it looks like. Just a foam with a very, very strong adhesive backing. So keep that in mind when I say very strong. Um, it comes in a roll here. You get 30 feet for about 18 bucks. And what we're going to do is we're going to start applying this to the bed. That carries them has kept me astray. Too soon to act on it. Can we ever be? That all depends on what you're feeling from me. Show you all the way. Let me show you all the way. Now we got everything insulated and you want to have this little tab here for your heat bed wires and you want to cover these up so nothing shorts them out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put foil tape over the entire bed as the final layer. Now you can do one layer of this, you can do two layers. I'm doing one layer on this bed. Insulated heat bed. So by dragging your knife at a 45 degree angle across here, what you're doing is you're just pressing the edge of the bed up against the back of the aluminum foil. And it'd be like if you bent it back and forth repeatedly. So we got our nice insulated heat bed here. Notice I did not cover my terminals here. I did this because if I ever need to replace these wires here for the power, I can do so easily. So that's it. Um, this is all ready to go. The only thing I'll have to do is poke screws through the holes here and those will just go right through the back and that's simple enough. That's how you insulate your heat bed and this is applicable to any model not just the CR10.